Hello, everybody. This is Double Pulse, and here's that second parter. When creative directors or lead writers leave the company after making progress on their titles. And honestly, for this one, I don't feel so bad because this one just seems like a dick move. But it still kind of makes me worry on what is going to happen because uh, I was kind of interested a little bit, only a little bit into this game because I heard that I've heard good things and bad things that it's changed. The Elder Scrolls Online loses the creative director at three weeks after the console launch. Yep. Uh, Paul Sage just said, fuck it, I'm leaving. Uh, creative director of the Elder Scrolls Online has left his job less than three weeks after the game is launched on the PS4 and Xbox One. According to Eurogamer, Sage will now work as a creative director direct as a creative director on a new project, most likely Borderlands 3. Originally a subscription game, Elder Scrolls Online dropped that requirement in March, ahead of its launch on consoles. The console version of the game launched on June 9th, but some players were unable to log in last week. Publisher Bethesda released a 16 gigabyte patch for the game, so it's fair not so it's fair to say that it's not had its best start. Uh, yeah. Yep, you just, like right after you launch a project, just say, fuck it, leave this project. Now, I'm just making accusations here. I don't know what exactly what happened. Um, unfortunately, Elder Scrolls Online hasn't really had a uh, great experience. That says the least. But it does make me wonder, when you lose a creative director on a game like this, What's going to happen to the content? What's going to be released on the content? Are there going to be any updates? Are there any going to be any uh, new content being created? Or is the, the creative director being replaced by somebody else? Uh, is the new creative director going to make the game better? Is the game just going to simply die? Which I hope, I kind of hope not. But then I kind of wouldn't be surprised... Because I'm kind of a little bit interested in playing it. Now, people are going to probably break on me and say, Why are you interested in Elder Scrolls Online, Double Pulse? It's not Skyrim. It's absolute shit. It's absolute shit. And that it's, you know, that you're kind of wasting your money. But honestly, I had a friend who played on PC. He said uh, they've made some interesting changes to it and said that while it still feels like a skin of a game, uh, like just a MMO with the skin of Elder Scrolls on it, it is improved a little bit. And I'm assuming I would enjoy it much more on PS4 than the PC at the moment due to the fact that I'm starting fresh and all this. But I don't want to buy a game if the creator director left and there's not going to be any new updates or there's not going to be any new content that comes to the game later on. You get what I'm saying? But those are, only, those are only my guesses. I really don't know what's happening with this. Uh, it was a short article. But if you guys uh, like this video, be sure to leave a like. Be sure to leave a comment. And consider subscribing if you haven't already for more content in the future. And I will talk to you guys soon. Goodbye.